Here's Mike sitting down with our setting is the new uh, is the new smoking blend, but this is the Saturday preview. Rose Hill tomorrow, and it looks like we're going to in for a lot of scratchings actually because such a sacred cow this Saturday racing that there, I think there was five horses, dual acceptors for Canterbury and Rose Hill, and all five of them have gone to Canterbury. Oh, okay. So including Miss Ballantyne the first tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. She's the first tonight. That's right. So that's, that's right. Like well, but it's interesting that you know they're, they're a hundred thousand on Saturday or forty thousand tonight. Ali Chevelle's in an eighty thousand dollar race oh, for five-year-old mares that have been born tomorrow. No, tonight. Tonight. Okay. But I, what I'm saying is that you go, you accept for a hundred and you race for forty. What's the go? Well, it, it would have been three dollars tomorrow, and it'll be a dollar fifty tonight. So those ratios will work out there. Well, a bigger load of gourd there who's uh, just the picked, himself, in. picked himself up off the sick bed to, uh, uh, to uh, back up off his uh, Mooney Valley preview last night. Uh, Glenn, rail goes back in the true position. That's good That's good news. Great news, yeah, great news. Been uh, racing very fairly anyway, Rose. That's been great. Well, except for last week. Yeah, okay. Um, Size so in. And yeah, I would, you know, touch of rain, but perhaps uh, touch of rain, touch of hose. I think we're in for a. Um, Good looking set of races tomorrow. Yep. Uh, uh, and, and anything else to report before we get going? No, not much. Just getting ready for the, tonight at Canterbury, tomorrow at Rose Hill, which will be exciting. Uh, manning our mail for you tomorrow. And of course, the Christmas party next Friday for all Punish Show people. Well, not Punish Show. <laughs> Punish Wait. Show people are welcome. <laughs> yeah. It's the Racing Rant Christmas party. The and race. I believe that trainers and jockeys, are, tra jockeys and stewards are, are welcome as well. I haven't so. barred anybody. So, yeah. any of the jockeys out there that want to come next. Friday, you'd be most welcome to meet some of the punters that pay your lavish lifestyles and look after you. Any other trainers want to come, that'd be great. I'm tipping we might be able to get Bjorn Baker. I think we might be able to get Lee Curtis. I don't think we'll get Chris Waller. No, Chris will be busy filming his show. Yeah. Uh, anyway, it's on at the Rose of Australia, which is up the road here, uh, corner of Swanson Street and George Street in Erskineville. And we're um, from four o'clock taking up the terrace. Upstairs, there it is. Just come along, side of the boys. Anybody else wants to turn up, turn up. Hope Team Queen comes to town. I will extend a special invitation to Team Queen. Oh, I uh, think we've got Mooney Valley Night Racing on the, on that night, so bring a bank if you want to bet. Yeah. I might play bookie middle yeah. toe. <laughs> middle toe. Oh, it's go like on. A middle toe. Oh, it's got to be ten. It's got to be like at least five or ten percent on top of middle toe. Fucking bullshit. I, <laughs> I play middle toe all the time at the pub and lose, lose. every weekend. <laughs> yeah, really? Wow. Well. Right, okay, so race one is uh, field of four because Miss Ballantyne has been uh, pointed out is running tonight and um, markets are to be shaved with the reduction for the $6.50 with Miss Ballantyne, but uh, $1.85 Zumbalina, $4.80. What's he say? Kadaga. What's he say? Kadaga. Maybe $4.80. Well, it'll, it'll be like four dollars twenty. Yeah. Oh, they just in his mark. Yeah, keep going. All right. Uh, Six dollars fifty fiery trail and nine dollars fifty gold artisan. You can take the deduction out. Okay. Yeah. Um, and uh, what are so Fiery yeah. trail straight to the lead. Well, straight to the lead. He's back. He's back. Back from the mile where he could like barely. Go, could, where he could barely go. But he takes up the running. Takes up the running. Uh, gold artisan looks to race forward. Perhaps Zumbalina is box seating and. Cadogan is uh, seeing them all, I think. Well, Rory, uh, there's, Rory looks to get a PR, gets a split and obviously wins, it's unbelievable. But it'd be interesting oh, to see. Oh, they were, they were unlucky in a four horse field. You know, oh, sorry, Huey, oh, oh, back oh, on oh, oh. What about that dirty, filthy caller? Huey needs the helicopter, or helicopter or rescue or some fucking thing. Gosh, I can't stand him as a caller. He's not funny. He tries him. very hard. Bro. I know he does. He does try hard, but is there an angle here, G. Pollard? Well, there's an angle if you back Zumbelina. Yeah, uh, in one minute and twenty-three seconds later, you'll be able to go to your booking wait for Creek Lake and Collect. Does not win? Yeah. Well, uh, like you cannot touch the other three, can you? No, you can't. It's got three links on Kettigan. Uh, Kettigan will be third up tomorrow. And when blinkers on, it brings it a touch closer. Well, gee, it was terrible the other day, wasn't it? Terrible. Can't, I think Fiery was flat as. Well, Fiery Trail, even... what a, how bad was the run of Fiery Trail last week at Warwick Farm at a mile? Terrifying. Um, where uh, shitbags, uh, Valentino Rossa has nearly grabbed them. Both. In the, in the 
and, the, and the favourite never ever got a look. At the $140 in the five horse field, care of Betfair, the only place you can bet sometimes. And Gold Ellison, Mornington Maiden winner, what did you do, Gordon? Great pen there. Pen job, pen job, yeah. Well, what about the fact that it started uh, $41 in a Ballarat Maiden on debut? Team Hawks. Well, I didn't get back that far, just by the time I got back to four runs ago, I'd penned. Right. I'm tipping number one to beat number three. Uh, one, one's a moral. I'm just a little bit disappointed because I wanted this thing in a competitive race because I think it would have won that as well and I would have got a better prize. So, um, yeah, one's on top. Well, but we'll speak to Chris, why don't you? Well, speak to Chris. What's it going to be? Dollar huh? forty or something? No, it won't be that. Huh? Can't be no, no, no. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a nickel dollar in the race. Six. Six. Yeah. Yeah. What, what, what am I going to back it at? Probably a dollar eighty. So I probably won't. Cannigan's got some uh, uh, some beef because of the same SPs last start. Cannigan being third up, so Cannigan like 350, 360 count. So that makes it a dollar sixty. And you got the you got fire. He's going to go up to 440, get for six dollars, and then pen job at 11. But I think it'll win. Big deal. How exciting! Yeah, yeah. So very, very ordinary start. Much, to nice much, much better race. Race two. It's the Golden Gift. It's a hundred and fifty thousand dollar race for two-year-olds and the unraced florid in fact what have we got we've got 10 males up against the solitary mm. female and i got paul daly to uh, give me a little pertinent stat which i'll give you share with you shortly um three dollars florid three dollars twenty serena bay um nine dollars fifty ipso facto Four, 14 pimble 14 reflectivity 15 allied power 15 corma and uh 20s bar, or 25s bar there. Um, she's obviously got a bit of toe, Serena Bay. She crossed fairly easy to, to, to lead the 900 Kembla. Uh, Arbitrate led on debut, but I would suspect that uh, from a wider gate won't go near the lead. So, in fact, I'll certainly burrow up there from gate one with the blinkers on. Um, and I guess Pimble, locally trained with blinkers on, could be pressing forward. Uh, the thing I wanted to mention about the Phillies versus the Colts and Geldings. Yes. Early season. So, to December the 31st. Yes. I said, Paul, from ratings to win, interrogate that wonderful Axis database. Uh, the question is, how do the Phillies go against the males up to December the 31st in Metro Sydney races? Good question. And? And they, they have a higher strike rate and... They're only losing three and a half percent, uh, three and a half percent on turnover. The Colts are losing seventeen percent on turnover. Okay, so it, 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 it boxes are the tick there. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so Phillies, Phillies have a bit of an edge at this stage of the season, but she'll need to have an edge because I didn't think much of the win at all. Well, I thought it was very thin, and I didn't think she beat much. I thought she just did the job, but I think the fact that she's had the run and uh, she gets up to two meters distance and pushing forty, I, I thought she was the one to beat. Uh, I reckon there's a moral in this race, number five, Florid. Mm -hmm. um, trial against the older horses was over. Hey, listen, hey, 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 hang on, there's a copyright on that, on that, on that word. No, 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 the moral word's always got huh? to be shared. My no. word, moral no, 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 God, God's, God's got God's to give his horses a bit more chance by not saying moral. Yeah, that's true. They, they, they firm well, they, and they, lose. They're, they're looks too hot. I think, I, I, I think Florid's got to be better, doesn't it? I mean, there's got to be question marks about the, the filly, like... She won. 735 metre trial, 900 metre race, and I don't know... 1100 metre perfect now. No, but I don't th know that whether she was that strong at the end of the race either. I, I reckon the 1100's pushing it. Okay. I was tipping, I was tipping 11 from 5, and I, I couldn't find a third pick, so... Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm not dirty on you saying it tomorrow. I hope I can win on both of them some way mathematically tomorrow. Or win on one heaps more than the other because of the mounting up. I'm with two-year-olds. I'm looking for new stuff as well, because I haven't been that impressed with what they've put up recently, so um, I'm looking for a new Well, it's, it's hard not to get, get excited about Florid because it's got gun. It trialled in a 1,045 metre trial against the older horses. Yep. Um, and it's it's shaped nicely in that in that trial. Um, it looks a perfect race for it. Uh, yeah. I also say the Ipso Facto, and Mark Newnham trained another winner yesterday. What's yeah, he up to, four or something? I don't think he's a four, he's a three, isn't he? Um, Took him a while to get a one. Then yeah, the but, get the two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but this horse did a good job at Canterbury and raced the, the filly outside the lead. It's got the blinkers on. Race, tea towel or something. Teaspoon, the filly. Fillies have any edge, remember? Um, tea towel. What the fuck are you doing? Um, 
hard to find anything else, I thought, Gord. Uh, any, anything else at all? No, no. Five. I was 11 from five, but I can easily be swayed by Gordon Mounting Mark up. sentiments and oh. mounting yard mail. How do you breathe yes. without it? How do you breathe without uh, it? Yes. Yeah, it's a mounting yard mail race, of course. So this is the third, this is the 1800. 1800, but it's not the distance race of the day, it's the middle distance race of the day. Um, Balmain Boy. Anyone sick of Balmain Boy? Fucking moral time. $3.90. $3.20 is actually favourite Leopari. What was it? $7 SEL. $10 Montauk. $11 Pianissimo. $16 Hunter Jack. Uh, and I missed $12 Promas. Um, anyone want to be on Pianissimo who's about 10th up or 11th up or something in this preparation? No. No, it's um, fucking moral time. Where you go, Glenn. He's actually only 9th up. Oh. Oh, it's unbeatable. Complete line chase and fourth up tomorrow. Leopari, Brendan Abdullah, Seawaller. Absolutely charges through the line. 15.50 up to 1800.00. It's proved every time from the yard. Unbeatable. Moral for me. Number seven. Who? Leopari. Yeah, up here you go. Even, even I was going to have an even billion there. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same horse. <laughs> yeah. Middle yeah. time. Yeah. 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 Middle time. Turn over. Middle time. Turnover. Turnover. Yeah. Trying to help racing New South Wales. Yeah, we'll we'll get our comms down on Betfair. Yeah. Looks unbeatable. Um, yeah, and it's just three dollars. It's done it with style. Right stable for for fourth up this prep. Great enough dollar on board. I reckon he's got some fantastic rides tomorrow. And it's got um, the very strong lucky fish format. Um, and well, that'll be a good thing. Well, it's, I, I went yeah. looking for it because I, I agree with you. It's very likable in this race. Yeah, very very likable. Well, there's some of that you just want to go, oh, no, not really. But you go shelf, really. Montour, well, uh, it, it just Bowman, boy. Yeah, just just right. could be a bit of a steady race here, you know. Like, it's, Bowman, uh, boy. Is, Bowman, boy leads tomorrow. Yeah, it's nothing down the bottom. Uh, Shalmaneza has been um, talking about a bit. Talking about the morals. We got up again last week. Yeah, new temporary, and even carried Jay Ford to get up. I said, whatever you, the earlier one was. whatever you have on the Louverton, then double the bit of new temporary. How are you going to lose? You can't lose. You got to win. If you have a thousand on the first, you're having two thousand on new temporary. You get back six, you outlay three. Fantastic. Sounds right to me. And, and it clearly was a super model because it beat the bias and it carried Jay Ford. Exactly. That's just enough to turn me off back in for a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fuck funny. I know this is. That text message has got to leave the question. Text message doesn't work. It's a tortured text message, that one. It, it, was, was, it was a torture of grace. Glenn was asking me, can we put that in? How do, Can we fit that in? I, I, was, yeah. I was looking at like this in the mounting yard going, like, and you know what? J Ford does a good job. He does a good job. I, uh, who was the horse he rode at the Hawkesbury? The Marketplace. Was that famous Seamus he rode at Hawkesbury? Oh, he good, good, did, did a good job on that Screw one. Screw one running job in. My word. Anyway, Glenn, this 1800 metre race where you've declared Leopari, which is fine and so fine good. and fine and fine. Uh, I have Balmain Boy leading, SEL will box seat, uh, Shalmaneza will be closer to the speed tomorrow. And any word on Promas, which has obviously had two runs for Hawks. It was legless when it was with Snowden, it went north and looked legless again. But it's been hard in the market in two unsuitable races at Warwick Farm. And man, it just throw itself at the line the other day. I agree with that, I do agree with that. It was the one horse I thought had a little bit of D off, a DF, third up tomorrow and it's come back and I, I think I think the horse is flying. I thought the run the other day was unbelievable but it just doesn't have the class. I didn't think it did. Yeah. Interesting runner but in a, an interesting race. So okay, so fucking moral Glenn, what price will it start? $2.40. <clears throat> You've heard it here on Racing Rant and you'll get your chance to give Glenn your uh, envelope next Friday. And I won't be expecting anything, but it'll be just nice to see everybody and to get the punting community together with the stewards and the jockeys and the trainers and everyone happy. Anyone who works at Racing New South Wales, most welcome to come. Uh, any, I don't know. <laughs> I uh, spoke with Racing New South Wales yesterday about the no... Party? <laughs> no. About the no uh, video vision for session off trials and no times. Oh, that's handy. This is an absolute beauty. So the Sky Channel truck broke down. Really? And the course electrician, he called in sick. Oh, the double whammy. Yeah. So, so, unlike, the, it's a proper set of trials, like this one, eight, eight trials or, you know, 60 horses or something. A few running around at Musselbrook today and Canterbury tonight and a couple at Brazil so tomorrow. Funny. No times and no vision. There we go. Oh, we're back, we're in Melbourne. <laughs>
Race four is the highway and yet again the biggest field for the day. $4.40 delightful feeling. Uh, four weeks since his most recent highway appearance, a winner. Uh, $6.50 is Twilight Charade, $6.50 Al Cubana. $9.50 is Bill and Eve. $9 gambled on the back up from Goulburn there uh, on Cup Day. Uh, $11 the next to $13, $11 Major Sharp, $13 Top Magic Long Oz, the others. I had the, uh, the next to heading well forward with Twilight Charade underneath him. Um, and uh, Bill and Eve poking up. Delightful feelings up to 1500 off 28 days. Is there any thought there? Oh, what did you say? Delightful feeling, yeah. Um, no, not really. Uh, any, 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 any edge here? Well, uh, I know he, I know he produced the horn again if it was 14 days off. But doesn't delightful feeling win? Good chance. It, it, a little queer with the 28 days going up the tour meters, but gee, I mean it's the last up Rose Hill winner against horses that you keep looking and you go Goulburn, Kempsey, Maruya, you just go Warren, Gundagai, and you go the other. Oh, and what about the weights, Glenn? Yeah, what about the weights? One with the 59 has got the 56 tomorrow and goes from Sea Reef to Nick Haywood. Nick Haywood's a better rider. So it gets a positive riding change, less three kilos. I thought number one just wins again. And if I, number 12 so tied to it, I was tipping one from 12. Uh, I'm with number three here, Gambled. I found Brenton of Dulley yet again. I uh, had Mitchell Bell on it last time. Oh, it's Goulburn. the Danny Williams light. It was uh, freshen, freshen up back to 1200 metres, completely unsuited. That was more just a run to get it ready for the 1500 metres here. Last time it actually came to town, it actually had Heather Poland on it in what I think is probably a high standard highway race, even though it got beaten by 4.3 lengths. The, the stable actually putting Abdullah on and with that freshen up and what I consider, consider just a run around at Goulburn over the 500 metres indicates to me that they're definitely having a crack at this race and I think $9 is good odds. I wouldn't argue that. When we first started this race, what horse did you ask me about? Because I just like... Delightful feeling. I said four weeks off up to 1500, is that okay? Okay. Anyway. I prefer it at 14 days off. Yeah, it's but funny because you said it and I was completely confused. I've been looking for that horse's name <laughs> the whole time. But because it was the horse I liked, I didn't realise his name was the horse. I was going, what the f I know I said, I just bl I, I bluffed me away because I don't know what Mark's talking about. Did you actually <laughs> yeah. say delightful feeling? <laughs> just say number one when I fucking like him, which I just got lost then. Uh, yeah, and uh, second selection numbers. is number one. Bit by numbers and bit middle tape. <laughs> And I'm not bagging number three here either. I did look at number three and I can see Kurt Goldman. Oh, it's got If the... I mention number three, uh, um, Bogle Lugs will say, oh, you're going to knock back that stable with Danny Williams because they're very similar colours and stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. They, they train similar, same plan. Anyway. Yeah, but he uh, he has actually won a proper, sh proper Saturday Kurt race. Kurt Goldman's got Eckstein, doesn't he? So, Eckstein, that's yeah. right. Eckstein won a, um, a real race. Yeah. And also a highway race. Gambled is interesting because uh, he's been a leader for most of his career and then they went back to Kembla, rode him off the pace, he went a lot better. Um, and then, you know, like, uh, that was just a ludicrously slowly run race there at Goulburn last week. And uh, you've mentioned everything pertaining to that. The quick backup, the blinkers off, and the gun. Twilight Charade is a horse that started his life with Cummings. Yeah. And uh, he's doing a good job for um, his Kempsey trainer. Yeah. Uh, Pissed in the other day in um, good figures and sits up on the speed here and represents the main danger in number one, I thought. I I, I can't disagree with that, but and, and it does have a good chance. But, oh, jeez. Oh, that's right. Like, you see Kempsey, like, I, I go to these places, they're, they're, they're cow panics. <laughs> well, I don't get a Kempsey anymore. There's certain form that stacks up in it's, these it's highways, a... and that's not one of them. Is Terry tried to one of the riders? No, he wasn't one of the riders, no. I'm thinking of the riders that um, were well, the, the wrong barrier. Riders, no, no, the wrong barrier. <laughs> Cody Nesta and uh -huh. Peter Graham. It's Cody and Peter. Right. I just want to give them both a gobble next time I see them, just because I'll feel better. Oh, I can't wait to give it to the Englishman when he comes over. <laughs> in the blue colours. Oh, is he coming, oh, is he? he? Oh, I said oh. you he was coming. Yeah, James uh, Doyle. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. he's coming to replace Jay Mack, is he? Yeah. Really? So I, I think it's going to be a bit of a oh, punning set this, 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 this is going to be some money to be made. I think yeah. so too. I think it's going to be a very a long time of acclimatisation. We're going to definitely, uh, the betting's a dollar twenty about a massive John O'Shea blow up in the middle of the <laughs> yes, ring one yes, day. Yes, no, after it's slaughtered. After it's slaughtered. <laughs> yeah. So I think there's going to be some entertainment and some money to be made with the uh, James Doyle coming, which is oh. a beauty. I heard they were thinking of uh, the Magic Man, and then of course the two Sydney boys, which would have been Gunn and Timmy, I suppose. But, um, 
you know, I spoke to them and they both said they thought they were both long odds because the overseas boys going to get it. So all of them, there it is. I'd be the Englishman. That's fascinating. Right, yeah. so shall we um, uh, finish off part one with the best race of the day, the staying race, or the hardest race of the day. Waller's only got five of the 12. And he, of course, has the favourite, Pursuit of Honour at $3.80. Mm. Uh, he's then got Vassal at $6. $7.50 Zorkan, $8 My Giuliano. Can I just say something about Mr. Waller? Yeah. The thing seemed to have gone very quiet for a bloke with a horse with an ice thing. I think it did. Yeah. Did, didn't Has anyone heard anything about it on the yeah, show? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a couple of things that have gone very you quiet. You were in Cairns on Monday. Warren Godson just wrote in and said, uh, Oh, yeah. Uh, Good that, man. So that's Waller's third positive in three years. Of course, it'll just be tea and scones. Oh, I thought it was a great line, wasn't it? <laughs> well, there's not much yeah. said about it. I'll tell you what, there's not, not much said about it. There's a minute. There's not much said about the Dreamworld accident. No. <laughs> That's just completely gone, which, you know, fair enough. I'll like, tell you what, these companies that have these PR departments, geez, they can hush something up. Eddie they? Hastens apparently yeah. rigged every game of football, according <laughs> to every journalist, and they just hammered him, yeah. and now there's not a word yeah. about anything. Any chance of an apology to Mr. Hasten? <laughs> like, fucking, things just come, oh, look at this big... Yeah, you don't read that anymore. <laughs> Like Ray, oh. we're sending Ray in to study the Chiefs. Well, Ray, get involved with Racing Ray and give us the gossip about what you found about poor Eddie. <laughs> but Eddie <laughs> actually employed one of those specialists, didn't he? Yeah, that uh, that Narky. Yeah, but yeah. that was only, I think it was too late before he actually brought him in. Oh, the, uh, the, 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 the PR guy. The, the journalist Sheila just hammered him. What's her name? Yeah, yeah, Kate, Eddie, Kate McClellan. Hey, Eddie, you've had a bet. Like, a fucking... All right, now let's... Anyway, that's okay. more for the rant. Let, like, yeah. Let's have a bet in this race. So you missed your chance on Monday, Glenn. Yeah. Um, oh, you did a good job, by the way, boys. I watched it. It was good. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you thank man. you. Jeez, uh, okay. Okay. Is, is there a, is there a, is there a place away from Waller in this race? Of course, Soviet Courage uh, goes from inside to outside to head forward. Hearns Oaks heading forward with Deanne on board. Mister Steele would like to get the lead. Uh, Maven Wiz posies up. I watched Deanne yesterday ride a winner at Wild. Yeah, Baudelaire. She's really got a lot stronger in two months. She's really quite an accomplished apprentice now, and she's great value with three kilos off. On horses going forward, she can really. I thought at first she was a bit of a steer and hope job, but who are you saying? Deanne Pena. It really improved the last oh, month. Okay, I'm negative. I'm negative. On, yeah, I'm not a fan. Oh, the, so was yeah. I. Not a fan. Yeah. But I'm saying now. Yeah. yeah, she really belted Baudelaire really well. If you get to watch the tapes on Baudelaire, very balanced, very strong, and give it a good couple of cranks. Oh, who was that shorty on Wednesday that she rode? Race one. Gold, your horse scored. Yeah, but Gold it, it didn't get to the lead, and like. It was trained by Ingle, Brett, like, I oh know, it's just, it's just, when I see, like, such a heavily back short price favourite go so terribly, I'm, it's sort of indicating to me, and watching her a bit, the balance isn't quite there. Yeah, I think there's a touch of, um, you know, you stand, you're a pro and you stand over the three foot putt, so it's got to go in, it's got to go in, it's yeah, got to go yeah, in. Yeah, yeah. You stand over the yeah, eight foot putt, you do a bit, you might miss, but you do a bit of yeah, 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 you got a 10 foot if it goes in great, but if you miss, no one's in. you're over the four foot party, you won't miss, you won't miss, you won't yeah, miss. Oh yeah. fuck, I, I jerked. Yeah. <laughs> and that's why you stay with the pointy end in that price range. My word. Yeah. You know, like it, it, it's got to be Bowman and Waller, it's got to be like, it's got to be. Worlds have to all be sitting nice. You know, and pointy it, ends, it, it, you've got to have trainer and jockey, don't you? Top well, trainer and jockey. We've got yeah. a duller on this moral tomorrow, trained by Waller, fourth up, of, it's the right end. Yeah. It was, yeah. Oh, late riding chance, Deanne Penny couldn't find Betfair quick enough. <laughs> right, so Glenn, um, of course we had a 2400 metre lead up into this race that Pursuit of Honor reeled them in. Yep, and which um, I, he paraded well that day, so I, look, I'm going to tip him on top tomorrow because of that win, because he, to win the way he did the way he paraded, um, sort of, was it very unusual, but if he parades well tomorrow, like he could be sent out tomorrow, or he, he could actually get worse. So. I remember that is he was particularly thin last night, which is a terrible thing for all of us. I don't want to talk too much about it. But. So, sorry, you're saying he could do better or, he, or that you might be on the way out? That's what I'm saying. Because you're saying the same thing about the ball last week. It's, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, and, I'm, and of course, these things don't come out to me. They don't come to me to mounting up, mate. Yeah, yeah, I'm not like yeah. holding them back. I can't, you can't you do say it with more confidence if Waller wasn't trained, because he can. He can fix them up, can't he? So he's, he's the best. best. So, he's the yeah. best. Like for, um, he's got the green light, but he's also the best. He's yes. going to get. He's going to get to those charges soon. Certainly, the horse to beat here, pursuit of honour. Yeah. Um, I've had a bet here, Maven Wiz, uh, which is at thirteen dollars uh, on the ten day back up. 
came back up from Melbourne, has done a very good job this preparation and of course was very adjacent to Pursuit of Honour when they last yep. met at Randwick. And down the, the nine and a half kilos. My word, yes. <laughs> oh, the <weights. laughs> the a lot of weight. <laughs> the weights. Yeah. They'll save you the weights. Oh. We talk about some of the main chances here. Vassal, who hasn't had a run for a while and has never actually seen 2400. Oh. Funny horse. Oh, no. um, Funny my horse. Giuliano, I keep, just keep persevering with him. It's like Three weeks round off. And round and round and Going round. Going up 500 metres and, and racing really well. Zorkan um, got a kill at Kembla the other day after not being after being ready for a race to start before. Yeah, it's, it's a pit bull. She does live there. Oh, so she's done that. Yeah. That's memory. Oh, was a blind person wants to fly. Just how good they are just fascinates me. I dig blind people. Yeah, 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 so do I. They can't see they can't see me. I'm more of a hand. Straight away you're handsome. <laughs> yes. <laughs> It's a lot to like about a blind chick. And then they're uh, deaf as well, that's not bad. <laughs> and they're dumb too, so you get the whole like. <laughs> Hello, love. Who's there? What the I, wouldn't, I wouldn't like it. You know how they talk funny sometimes? That's oh, the, the, the deaf one? The deafies? Oh. Yeah. Are you going for dinner? Oh, that. <laughs> no, it's like, oh no, I don't even know. Oh, where's <laughs> Dicko where's Dicko when you need him? <laughs> Dicko's not a blind chick. Dicko's got a few chicks blind. Uh, Glenn, uh, any, anything um, else to say? Ascot Red, I see, is trialled between runs. Look, I thought the horse that's improved, uh, and fifth up tomorrow's turn and target. It's the one that's sort of getting, I'm getting better, I'm getting better. Finds Danny tomorrow at 57 kilos, coming down two and a half. And 2400, never seen it before. It's, uh, it's beyond. Yeah, it's time time, time to get up there. Mr. Steele is... Uh, Mr. Steele, you know, he'll probably go around and win it for me too. Another kid that rides good, James is junior. You've got to ask me about Zorkan, who won that race last yeah. night at Kembla. Yeah. My, well, I've obviously didn't see it that day, but previous to that, it was a sort of horse you just... It's a weak-looking bastard, I'll tell you. It's a weak-looking bastard. So, unless Mr. Waller can pull a rabbit out of the head, I don't know how I, I can't possibly knock the horseshoe back, Maven Wiz. I think it will trade a lot. Sure Except that it's not horse. trained by Waller, and he's got five of the 11. You know, he's actually Waller, got, you know that Waller's going to train the He's winner. got five and a half of the 11. He used to... He used to train Dan <laughs> <laughs> Look, uh, He'll see his old stable mates. Hello, boys. <laughs> I really enjoyed doing the form for that race. Gord, have you got anything to say about this race before we close up shop no. in part one? Part one done, guys.